Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily install the current PyCharm version on Windows 10. For PyCharm, we need Python. So at first, we will download and install the current Python version. With that, we will also see how we can connect PyCharm and Python. We will also run a sample Python project on PyCharm at the end. Let's begin. At first, we will download and install the current Python version. At first, go to the web browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any browser. On Google, type Python. Press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible. The first one, python.org. Click on it. After clicking, you have now reached the official website. Here it is, python.org. Just keep the mouse cursor on downloads. On keeping herein, always the current version is visible. So the current version is python 3.10.3. Just click on it to download. The download started, it's only 27 MB. You need to wait for a few seconds. So guys, we have successfully downloaded the exe file. Double click on it to install. Minimize this. Now the installation started. Here it is, python 3.10.3. At first, click on add python 3.10 to path. Now click on customize installation. Here in optional features are visible. It will install pip. I told you pip is used to install and manage python packages. It will also install IDLE. IDLE is an ID to run Python programs. We will see it later. It will install the test suite as well as the PyLauncher. Keep the default. Click on next. Here in advanced option are visible. I will select install for all users. Now the following is the path wherein our Python will get installed. We will see it later. Click on install. So guys, the setup is successful. Click on close. Now herein you can see we installed it under C drive, program files, Python 3.10. Remember, Python got created inside it. Here it is. Here is our Python 3.10.3 path. So guys, we successfully installed the current Python version. Let us verify. Go to start. Type cmd. Click on open to open the command prompt. So we opened it, type the command python space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. Here and you can see we successfully installed python 3.10.3. Now guys, let us go to the web browser again and download and install PyCharm free version open source. Here in type PyCharm, press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible. Click on it. So here is the official website. Click on download straight away. After clicking download, two versions for PyCharm are visible. The first one is professional and second is community. The following is the paid version and this is an open source free version. So I'll click on download to download it. So the download started for PyCharm community open source version. 359 MB, let's wait for a few seconds. So guys, we have successfully downloaded the PyCharm open source exe file. Double click on it to install. Minimize this. The installation started. Click on next. Here and you can see the installation location is visible. PyCharm will get installed under program files and JetBrains folder. We will see this later. It will take 1.2 GB. If you want to change the location, you can click on browse. I'll click on next. The location looks fine. The default is fine. Here and you can see the installation options are visible. Here and you can create a desktop shortcut. You can also add open folder as project. You can directly open a project in PyCharm. And that's it. Click on next. It will also create a start menu folder. Click on install. It is installing now. So guys, the setup completed. Click on finish. After clicking finish, you can directly click here to open PyCharm. I'll just double click here and open it. So 
so guys the Python started click on new project directly here and you can see it will create a new project you can name the project from here you can name the project from here let's say my name my project name is Amit project it will get saved in the following location now we need to also set up an environment so it by default went for new virtual environment which is fine okay the project location will be the following and it automatically took the base interpreter which is python 310 which we just installed it automatically took it okay so we have connected pycharm with uh, python now click on create here it is guys let us close this now we have created our Amit project folder and the main.py file got created guys you can see indexing complete so now here is a project here is the main.py default file I'll right click and add a new file new click on python file here in just type the name of the file and press enter on pressing enter it will automatically convert to .py that is python file because it got selected by default press enter now here it is now let us print something quickly go to file click on settings click on settings after clicking you can see the settings is visible to change the font you can directly go to editor click here now click on font here and it is right now 13 change it to let's say 18 click on apply and then ok now you can see the font increased now we need to run it you can directly go to run and click on run here or run click on run here you can also use alt shift plus f10 keyboard keys the best way I consider is to just right click and click on run example here you can see we successfully ran our first python program so guys in this video we saw how we can easily download and install the current python and pycharm version we also ran a sample project on pycharm so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it do subscribe to our channel amit things